Hey guys, Sean from Living Seeds, your seed guru. Today, we are talking about powdery mildew. So we are at the end of December. Um, we've had some, some really nice warm days. And what's happening is, if you have a look at these leaves, the powdery mildew is starting. It's not a case of if you'll get powdery mildew. It's a case of when you will get powdery mildew. So today, um, I'm gonna show you a couple of tips that we use to slow down the incidence of powdery mildew because you're going to get powdery mildew. And it's a case of what do you do um, to number one, slow it down. Number two, when you get it, how do you prolong the life of the plant to get the maximum yield off your plant uh, before it finally succumbs to um, the whole plant just dying of powdery mildew? So the first thing that um, I want to talk about is all of the free um, remedies. So the free remedies are bicarbonate of soda, it's using milk, um, it's using some, some natural substance um, to spray onto the leaf surface. And basically all you're looking at doing is you want to change the pH of the leaf surface. And the minute you change the pH of the leaf surface, what happens is the powdery mildew the, the powdery mildew fungus actually dies. So you can spray bicarbonate of soda, it does work. You can spray milk, it does work. The problem is you need to spray every single day. If you're not spraying every single day, the powdery mildew will eventually take over your plants. But if you've got the time to spray every single day, use bicarb or use milk, it's going to work. Just make sure that you actually do both sides of the leaf. So if you look at this leaf over here, the top of the leaf is um, maybe 10% maybe covered with powdery mildew. If we look underneath the leaf over here, we're close to 50% covering on the underneath of the leaf. And it's critically important that when you're spraying, you're spraying underneath the leaf and you're spraying on top of the leaf. Because if you only spray on top of the leaf, what happens is that just recolonizes from the bottom of the leaf and what's the point of doing half a job? Um, so one of the best ways to help reduce powdery mildew is actually grow your plants on a trellis. So you'll see these are, are butternuts over here. They're looking stunning. I, I, I think we've got maybe two, four, six. We've got seven butternuts on this plant over here um, and it's looking great. Um, so the first thing that you do is you need to be pruning your plants. So if you look at this leaf over here, this leaf is damaged. It's quite heavily damaged. Just take a knife cut the leaf off and what you want to do is you want to be removing any leaves that look really really badly infected so you can open it up this leaf over here this leaf over here as well just take all of those really badly infected leaves and just cut them off the plant so what that does is number one it reduces the amount of pulgy Pulgary, let me try that again in English. It reduces the amount of powdery mildew spores that are in your plant's environment. So that's number one. Prune the leaves, um, especially the older leaves that are taking a bit of strain. As you prune the leaves, the plant will actually produce more leaves above, so it's not really a problem. The additional benefit of pruning leaves, especially at the base of the plant, is, I'll take this one off as well, Pruning leaves, especially at the base of the plant, allows air into the bottom of the plant. And what happens is, if the bottom of the plant is nice and dry, the powdery mildew spore doesn't have the humidity that it requires to actually germinate. So we're now going to talk about uh, the organic controls that, that we sell at Living Seeds. And before we get to that, I, I just want you to understand exactly what needs to happen when you're spraying leaves with powdery mildew. So you'll be spraying, um, normally what happens is people will spray on the top surface of the leaf and they think that they're solving the problem. However, with powdery mildew, you have to spray both leaf surfaces. And this becomes um, more difficult, especially if you're using a, a chemical like, like copper soap, which is one of the options, and I'll show that to you now. If you're spraying copper soap, the copper soap is a contact fungicide. So it has to actually physically contact the powdery mildew fungus for it to actually work. The problem with copper soap is spraying it underneath, you're not going to get full coverage, especially if you've got a nice big pumpkin plant and that pumpkin plant has, has quite a dense leaf canopy. So what you're looking for is you're looking for a product that um, 
is able to move within your leaf canopy. So I'm going to put this leaf down now and we'll talk about copper soap to start with. So Biogrow's copper soap is a fantastic fungicide. This works exceptionally well with powdery mildew. Um, we will, if we're using copper soap, so we will use all three of the remedies that I'm going to show you now, depending on what our needs are. And we'll move between each one um, as our needs change. So with copper soap, copper soap I find is a really great product to use um, if you're using it as a preventative. We will spray it really early in, 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 in spring, well, late spring, early summer, just when um, the powdery mildew spores are, are increasing in the environment and also your, your, um, your leaf canopy of your pumpkins or your cucumbers or whatever you're spraying isn't as dense. So um, we find the copper soap is highly effective. We will use it 50% of the minimum dose based on the bottle over here. You spray that every 14 days, every 21 days, and as long as you keep a regular cycle up, you will push your incidence of powdery mildew out by at least a month, if not two months, which is really, really great. So the important thing to remember is that if you're using copper soap, you can't use one of the other two remedies that I'm going to be showing you now, mainly because the copper soap will actually affect the remedy that you're applying and really it's a waste of money we don't want you to waste money but copper soap is fantastic we use it as a preventative fungicide on a regular basis the next one that we have is disease pro and this is a really really cool fungicide uh, this is actually a fungus that eats other fungus which um, I find is it's really cool we find this effective against most species of, of disease pro. We find this effective against most species of powdery mildew. And it's important to actually understand that every species of plant has a different type of, of powdery mildew. So for example, the powdery mildew on your roses is not the same powdery mildew that's on your beans, or that's on your tomatoes, or that's on your cucurbits. So, um, that's also very interesting to uh, to realize is that if for example your roses in your rose garden have have powdery mildew that powdery mildew will not transfer into your vegetable garden mainly because the powdery mildews are species specific but we find that disease pro is really effective against most species of powdery mildew and most species of downy mildew as well which makes this a really really cool weapon to have in your um, powdery mildew fighting arsenal. So the third guy I want to have a chat to you about is called Pelos. This is um, this is produced by Soygrow. Soygrow packs them into these little vials for us specifically, um, which is really cool. So what Pelos is? Pelos is a bacteria that eats fungus, and this bacteria eats powdery mildew. It eats downy mildew, um, and a whole variety of, of plant molds that you might encounter in, in your vegetable garden. The cool thing is a little bit goes a long way. I think one of these little vials you diluted with five liters of water. So it really, really goes a long way. It's really cool that at Living Seeds, we provide you three different options. Um, it's copper soap, it is the, the EcoBuzz Disease Pro and the Soy Grow Pelos. All three of these products will fight powdery mildew. At this time of the year, it's, 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 it's December, um, or right now, it's very late December, and powdery mildew is literally on the rampage through every single garden. We see it on, on our social media platforms where people are putting out their hair or they're posting pictures. What is this? How do I take care of it? And these three solutions give you the shortest path to success when you are trying to tackle powdery mildew. Um, right in the beginning of the video, I, I mentioned using soap or using bicarbonate of soda. Yes, it does work, but it only works if you spray it every single day. If you skip a day or two, basically what happens is the powdery mildew explodes in your garden and um, you are left off with a, 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 a very quickly accelerating problem. Whereas if you're using copper soap, Pelos or, or Disease Pro, what will happen is um, you are using something that is designed specifically to tackle powdery mildew and you would need to spray it uh, um, much more infrequently. So for example, let's talk about the, um, the copper soap. 
If you're using copper soap as a preventative, you spray it every 21 days. Once you start getting powdery mildew, you, you bring it down to every seven days. If your powdery mildew is really out of hand, then what you do is you spray it every three or four days at the same time, remove any of the old leaves. Those old leaves are damaged. Those old leaves are the source of your powdery mildew um, spores. Let's put it that way. The next thing um, with, with Disease Pro, you would spray it every 10 to 14 days. Um, and yeah, literally every 10 to 14 days, we've used Disease Pro and we've used Pelos as, as preventatives and they work just as well. Um, and it really pushes the incidence of powdery mildew really right back um, for us on Living Seeds Farm. There will come a point in your season when powdery mildew, it, it literally explodes. On, on Living Seeds Farm right now, we, we have finished hand pollinating our, our pumpkins and squash down in the production fields. I think we finished hand pollinating about a month ago. And I was walking down through the plants yesterday and they are absolutely riddled with powdery mildew. And we are no longer spraying for powdery mildew down in our production fields, mainly because the fruits have set on the plants and we've basically called it quits now. Um, we are not going to spend um, any more money or time on preventing powdery mildew down in our production area. Up in the show garden over here, right now we, we, we're in our gourd tunnel and um, the gourd tunnel, we are working through the gourd tunnel, removing any of the old leaves. We're spraying preventatively for powdery mildew. What we do inside this tunnel, because we really want this tunnel to look great, um, at least for another month, maybe six weeks, is we will spray one week Pelos, the next week we'll spray Disease Pro, the following week we'll spray um, Copper Soap, and then we'll, we'll start all over again. And what that does is it just keeps the powdery mildew off balance and it allows us to get beautiful growth um, in, in the gourd tunnel so that when you guys come and visit Living Seeds Farm, you get to experience this awesome gourd tunnel. Guys, if you have enjoyed this video, if you found any value inside this video, please subscribe because we will be putting out videos like this on a regular basis for you.